Greetings. Hi. How are ya? It's your old pal, Dudley. It's been a minute. I feel like I always start these videos with that very statement because there's so much space in between. Uh, come and have a chit chat with y'all. My quite ordered visitation. How's your mom? Yeah. Per usual, I have nothing worth saying whatsoever. I was just checking in, let y'all know what's new with me. Find out what's new with you beautiful people. It's officially fall. It's beautiful outside. Um, that is awesome. Getting into spooky season. And then, of course, the holidays. Uh, summer. Had a really good summer. Summer was good. I ended my summer by finally. If you guys have watched my stuff for some crazy reason, you know I've been waiting to go see Rammstein since the apocalypse started. So I finished my summer by going to Chicago and finally, finally got to see Rammstein. And it was brutal. It was brutal. So you thought I was going to say it's amazing. It was fun. It was great. No, it was, it was, I almost got in a fight. A couple of them. Um, was not for some reason thinking what a rough crowd that would be. Um, the show was really good. They sounded fantastic. I love Rammstein. They're one of my favorite bands ever. And I'm just so grateful I got to see them live. Kind of see them through like windows of people. Because I'm short and kept ending up behind tall dudes. But the whole thing was just... I was so sore. I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, it was a good experience for sure. Um, but you know, I was in general admission and, you know, got there like an hour before the show started, got in, great, whatever. And there was just this group and they were just trying to have a good time, which, you know, cool, great. But one of the guys, big dude, already drunk. Okay, this guy's already plastered. Okay, like maybe slow it down a little, my guy. The show hadn't even started yet. And just being so obnoxious, just like touching everybody. And other people were getting irritated because like, why are you touching other people? Don't do that. Um, but whatever, like he's just, he's friendly, he's having a good time, but okay. It's just getting really annoying. And uh, some of the people he's with are just are talking and okay, like, please. The show starts. I have already had it up to here with this dude, okay? Just obnoxious and drunk and... Anyway, the show starts. General admission, remember, and right where we are standing is directly where the mosh pit decided to open up. As soon as the show started, mosh pit opens up right there. Great! Great. Yo, I'm not as young as I used to be, all right? I'm not really down for all that anymore. In my elder years, like, can we just sit calmly and enjoy said music? No. This dude, who I was already just bro, starts moshing with a bunch of other sweaty dudes who are probably drunk as well, and they are just going at it. And I got knocked into and knocked into. Finally, I'm like, bruh, we are going to fight. Man, I shoved that guy so hard. I was about to start swinging. I, I probably did swing. I don't even really remember. It was just, I had to get pulled out of there because I was about to take on like five dudes. I didn't even care. I did not care. So little five to me was about to go hand to hand. All right. I don't even care. These are fists of fury. No, they're not. I would have gotten my ass beat. But you know what? What a story it would have been. Um, so some people actually pulled us up uh, closer to the front, which was great. And it, it was just the usual waves of people. But it, it was fun. They sounded extraordinary. I had never in my life seen a line that long. Get to the stadium or the arena, whatever it is, the location of said show, and the line for general admission to get in, became a walking tour of Chicago. Never in my life have I seen that. It was insane. By the time we actually reached the very end, the line immediately started moving. So we didn't wait for long. It's just we had to walk to like Southside Chicago. It was a mess, but it was a really good time. Chicago is an awesome city, huge. Good Lord, huge. So I am from Nashville, which is beautiful and great, whatever, but Chicago, Oh my God, like there is not enough time to explore that city, but got in um, that, that evening and then went out that night and just seeing the city, 
you know, lit up, was just amazing. Went to Navy Pier, did the touristy stuff. Uh, it was really good. Had deep dish pizza, or is it Chicago-style pizza? Are they one and the same? Correct me, whatever, tell me. Uh, the one downside is why? Why, Chicago, do you only drink Pepsi products? I am a Coke gal. I only like Coke. And by Coke, I mean Diet Coke and or other Coke products. This is the South. Everything is a Coke. You ask me what type of Coke I want. Everything was Pepsi. Anybody who knows me knows I love Diet Coke. Every day. Just give me a Diet Coke. No Diet Coke. It was all Pepsi and I was devastated. So Yankees, if you could go ahead and, you know, just put some Coke on tap, that would be great. No offense. I loved your city. It was beautiful. Uh, but seriously, get some Diet Coke products. What would be Diet Coke products? It would just be Coke products because Diet Coke is a product type of Coca-Cola. What a goober. Aside from that, went to Woolly Mammoth, which was an oddity shop in Chicago. Really cool. They had human skeletons. I too have a human skeleton. It's just inside me, but it was cool to see one outside of a moving body with skin on it. So that was, what a hoot. Anyway, before Rammstein, I actually saw My Chemical Romance this summer. They came to Nashville and what a flashback. It was like being 15 again. Amazing as always. I, I love My Chemical Romance. They were sort of my gateway band, if that makes sense, um, into like the angsty, angry teenage years. I was never in the emo scene per se, but before them were the dark ages in my life. And then I saw My Chemical Romance or heard My Chemical Romance. Um, my mind blown. Nothing was the same after that. I just watched Fuse all day, every day, um, listening to these other bands. And it, they were just a major part of my early teenage years, like many alternative millennials. So I love My Chemical Romance. have really great seats. Um, it was just an overall fantastic show. Oh gosh, what else did I do this summer? Um, I went to a waterfall. That was cool. Went to a waterfall and played in a river. It was a stream. A estuary. I don't know what it would be. I don't think it was a river, um, but it was cool. It was cold. It was so cold. Uh, so I tried to get out a lot more this summer and, you know, do things I don't typically do, which would be like going to a waterfall, being out in nature more, of course, the graveyard. I might not have filmed it, but I was there. I started doing letter boxes. I made some, I made a, not some, a TikTok about it. And it sounded like I was saying litter boxes. So if anybody watched that thought I was just outside looking for random litter boxes, I wasn't. I have a litter box in the other room. Could have just gone over there. I was looking for letter boxes, which they're not even boxes. It's very misleading, but really it's just like a hidden note. It's not actually that cool when I say it like that. Um, but there's this whole website and thing where you hide, it's like a, I don't know, like a little book, whatever it is that you're hiding. The ones I found are sour books and you just put your own stamp in it or write something and you hide it and you give the directions, the coordinates, if you will, Lewis and Clark on this website. And then other people can come find it and, you know, put their stamp on it, their signature, and then still hide it. And there were actually... Was there two? I know I found one at Mount Olivet, the cemetery that I go to. There was one there, went exploring in the rain till we found it. And that was super cool that this place I'm always going to actually had like a little hidden treasure. So that was neat. Um, so yeah, I just tried to get out more. Uh, did the letter, not litter, letter boxes, saw some shows. I uh, got called the porcupine by some kid downtown. He's calling us fat by porcupine comparison. What I didn't want to say was that's when I was on my way to go see the Backstreet Boys. Uh, I'm still cool, guys. Still cool. Give me a break, okay? We all liked the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. So I saw the Backstreet Boys too. That was neat. Um, that one kid, he, he said, how much mac and cheese do you guys eat? He was talking to my sister. And I'm like, bruh, I didn't say this, but bruh, we're on our way down to Prince's to get hot chicken. So we'll find out shortly. And we did, and it was delicious. We didn't actually get mac and cheese. We had greens. That's a vegetable, right? I'm super healthy. So overall, summer was 
really fun, did a lot of cool things, a lot of fun memories and experiences. Um, I did start school back, like I mentioned in, I think, the last video, or one of the last videos I made here for you guys. I did go back to school, and uh, yeah, I forgot how hard that was. It's been a minute since I was a, a professor of all subjects, so not as smart as I used to be. Um, I'm just taking it slow right now, but it is just, I'm gonna level with you. Economics, what even is that? Why do you have so many graphs? Why are you so complicated? Am I the only one who has a problem with economics? Um, have any of you guys found that to be a hard subject? Is there a, a better way to understand it? Do you have any resources? You know, what can I do? I do get on YouTube on, um, Khan Academy is one of the channels that I look up, um, just try to get a better understanding of it because I'm doing this online. So if you have a question, there's not really a professor there you can ask. So you just figure it out on your own, I guess. So just wish me luck um, on completing the semester. And if you have any advice on how to do better, what I can do, how to do it, how to be smart, uh, that would be awesome. Please drop it below. Send me a message on Instagram, whatever you need to do. But enough about moi. What is new with you guys? Did you have an amazing summer? Did you do anything cool and exciting? Did you too go see the Backstreet Boys? Yeah, I figured. Little Backstreet Boy fans. Were any of you the kid that called me and my sister a porcupine? I took on a bunch of dudes at Rammstein. I'll take you on too, kid. Well. A little twerp, you don't even know anything. You weren't even old enough to be downtown by yourself. Where were your parents? Yeah, I'm not mad or anything, so whatever. No big deal. Real quick, I just have to share this little sleepy gothic bean. Look at him. Isn't he just the cutest thing in the world? I do want to give a shout out as well. Speaking of spooky, I'm actually doing as many are the Faces of Horror contest and. I just have to say how absolutely amazing you guys have been um, voting for me. My friends, my acquaintances, and complete strangers on the internet. It has been just amazing to see that because if you don't know what that is, it's just a, it's a contest and you get votes. Um, you know, to win your prize and you have a link and, you know, post it on your social medias, whatever. And people can vote for you and they can pay for votes. You get a free vote or you can buy votes, which I don't actually think is fair that you can buy votes because not everybody's in the same situation. So that's just not cool, but whatever. Um, so, you know, I posted my link and, you know, hey guys, please vote for me. It'd be really cool. And just seeing everybody going on consistently and voting for me, like taking the time out of their day to do that. People I have not seen since high school. People that I only know from Facebook, from social media. People I've never met before who've just found me on TikTok that have stopped and are voting for me is just fantastic. Some really great people. They're just going back and voting for me and trying to keep keep me in the running. And I think that is amazing to my friends. Thank you guys so much for doing that. It actually means a lot to me, whether I win or not. Like, it's just really cool to know that I have that support in the background. You, know, you might think that nobody cares about you and you're alone and all that. But I mean, look at that. Look who you actually have in your corner that you don't even know. Um, so it's so great that my friends have taken the time to do that. And people from the internet that I have never met in my whole life have stopped what they were doing and bought me votes, paid for it, which I was never expecting that, period. I never asked, hey, spend your money on me, but thank you. Like, that is just amazing. You don't even know me. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And thank you so much. Like, that is just, honestly, that makes it all worth it. So thank you guys for voting. Keep voting, okay? Don't stop. You know who you are. Thank you guys. Um, I will hopefully be back soon with more updates, what's going on this fall. Uh, please tell me what you got going on, how your summer was. Hit me up on TikTok and Instagram and make sure you are always following here. Give us a like, thumbs up. Um, 
I'm sure I can think of a couple other things you could do, but until then, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.